Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing a, another redstone tutorial. Um, it's a 2x2 two two, uh, trapdoor. And as you can see here, I'm on a relatively flat surface, so normally you could be walking down the hallway, etc. And you come along this area and most people just normally pass by it. Of course, unless you put this lever here in its most obvious spot. So you flick the lever, it opens, and you can go down. Chest with stuff and bed, and yeah. So... Now I'm going to break this down and I'll show you how I built it. So let me get some stuff in my inventory first. Redstone, repeater, sticky piston, torch. So let's just get a crap load of stuff. And I need some string later. Uh, thank you. Okay, so let's break this down so you guys can see the skeleton of this entire contraption and stuff okay and get rid of all the stone bricks and there we go so this is basically the main thing it's not it's very simple redstone not tough at all um, right we have a kind of not gate kind of system I guess and it powers it and I put the lever here and stuff so let's get to how it works first thing first I'm actually, as usual, I'm going to build it over here. Anyway, and I'm using the OCD texture pack by Fee Disco. Do you guys think it's okay? I mean, should I just go back with the default texture pack? And you guys can't see, like, really see what's going on. Or should I stick with this? Comment down below, and I'll look at your comments and stuff. So, yeah. Okay, so this is basically the main part of the entire thing. Okay, so you put redstone on these blocks right here. Now obviously, this redstone and this redstone will power this block and that block. These top two pistons, and same here. And we want to put repeaters like so. Now here's the important thing, you want to put a one tick delay. One tick delay or more, one tick delay would be faster, so at least, so basically at least a tick, one tick delay. And so you just, and then you just want to cycle this redstone right here. You can just psych it over, psych, like, basically bring it over, like so, just bring it over like this, and you can just connect it like so, and boom, that's basically the main part, and let's set time to day, time set day, okay, and if you power it, it'll push up, you can put whatever blocks, let's put something more a minute, like gold. Okay, and so let's put a lever or something, and it opens like and you can break these blocks and place whatever you want, and like that. This is basically what I use the main part of my survival server uh, door entrance is what I used right here. Okay, so I'll explain how it works now because it's always good to have some explanations in your um, video. So basically, res I'll explain why you need to have this one tick delay. Now. If a piston is extended, like so, another piston won't be able to retract it, won't be able to pull it back. But if it's not extended, it can pull it back. So, the reason why you need this one tick delay is, whenever, right now you don't need to, because remember, when you power this redstone, it powers this block, so that this repeater can go into here and push these out. Like that, like so. Now, this redstone, once it pushes it out, if I were to get rid of this redstone right here, well, obviously this was turn would turn off, so let's power it like so. Or that, I guess, for now. Now, and then when this redstone is activated, because the piston comes over here, it pushes up. So basically, it waits till after these pistons push these pistons over, then it activates. Like that. Now, now become now um, is the part why you need the delay. Bef when you turn that off, you want this three track first, and then it takes a tick later, so it takes a while. It has a delay, and then this retracts. So, if we weren't to have a delay here, like so, this would pull back at the same time this would retract, but it'd be too quick. So when this piston pulled back, these pistons would still be. Um, basically activated so I'd be able to pull it back so like this and if I were to pull it back without the delay it would not work 
So you have to have the delay so that these pistons get a chance to quickly retract before these pull back. Hopefully that's simple enough for you guys. I'm trying to make it as simple as possible. Um, so yeah, that explains that. So now we can use it in different situations. Now most people, you don't, if you want to use it as a trap, actually I'm just going to break this down and rebuild it in a different situation. Uh, let's say, okay, so let's say you want to cover this up like that or something. Okay. Okay, let's activate it for now so you guys can see it really like that. <coughs> and so let's wrap it around. And let's just say these were actually I'll just change these to stone right now. Okay. So let's say you want it to be a trap. So that um trip bar would activate be activated. So you would just the same concept, you just have to hook it up. Trip bar, you put your string, and you're obviously gonna hide these hooks. Oops. Okay. And then you just use a knot gate. Oh, I guess, yeah, knot gate kind of simple, I guess. Like so. And you just kind of hook it up like that. Okay, we're going to, because I, it's going to be too short if I don't hook it up here. So I'm going to hook it up there. Okay. Hopefully this works actually. Nope. It's too short of a pulse. Let's hook it up closer. Like that. Okay, both are activated. So when you run over it, it opens. And it closes really quickly. And and then you can just fall straight into a pit trap. Crap. Ah, help me. Okay. So yeah. You could use trip bar. So I'll give you another review. Run over right now it's activated because red the redstone has to be active um turned on in order for this to be open um to close. So you have to use a knock gate, so when you run over this, it disables this torch, because one block can only have one power source. And so then this turns off, and it opens the trap. Now, if you wanted it to be like a pressure plate type of system... What was that? Let me remodel it. We're going to use a T flip-flop. And, oh yeah, a, m a mistake I made last video. When I said the, um, I built this in the previous video something along the lines of this and let me just build it really quickly I want to make a correction really quick and I said that this was a T flip flop actually it's not it's a mono stable circuit so yeah just a correction if any of you have watched my previous video on how to make a uh, 3x3 piston activated door okay so <coughs> now let's make the piston Activated door thingy, my bub. Yeah. Okay. Uh. So let's say we wanted the piston, um, the pressure plates. Let's use stone pressure plates because they're easier to see. Like so. Which I'm gonna bring it out further a bit. Like that. You can make it more compact if you guys want. But for the sake of the video, I'm gonna have to do it like this. Okay. So I'm gonna have to bring out one more. Dang it. There we go. Okay. So what you would do, you would make a T flip flop. And I explained that in the previous video on how to make that. On how to make a uh, 3 by 3 door. Yeah. You guys can take a look at that if you want. So. It would be something along the lines of this. Put a redstone torch right there. Let's cover this up. Okay. And it looks like that. Oops. Let me put a block there. That's a T flip flop. Basically. When you step on these, it switches these, and it goes over and powers this redstone right here. And then you just hook it up. Like that. Mm, looks like it's not enough power. I'll have to use the repeater. Remember, um, redstone can be powered up to 15 blocks. Oh, looks like it broke this. Hmm, interesting. Ah, need more power. Hmm, what should I do? Actually, I got an idea. Do this. Should I fix it? Nope. Dang it. I like trying... Okay, there we go. Let's... Hmm, still... Oh, no wonder. Okay. So now, it's a T-flip-flop. Basically, what a T-flip-flop does is it makes a button or a pressure plate or something like that that usually would turn off eventually, act like a lever. Just run across so it turns off. 
Hmm, interesting. Oh, okay. So, you step on it and it stays open. For some reason, this is not working. Oh, I, I think I know why. Let's take a look at it now. Okay. Crap. Hmm, why is this not working? Give me a moment. Uh, let me just take a look. Hmm. Um. I wonder why. Um. Hmm. Did I break some pistons? Oh. Okay. Never mind. Simple fix. Okay, there we go. Okay. So, sorry about that axe. I thought it broke it, and I really didn't. Okay. So, basically, you step on it, and it opens, and it stays open. So, you can just put a trap or your base down here, and put, like, a lava po a water pool so you drop in. Yeah, you can make another T-flip-flop, and it goes up to here. Just attach it to this, down at the bottom. So, when you step on it, it closes. And does that a lot. So, yeah. Um, I th let me double check. I think I've gone over everything I wanted to in this video. So yeah, uh hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something about this 2x2 two two trapdoor and something about redstone. Uh this was Luke Lid HD. All likes, comments, and subscriptions are appreciated. And thanks for much for watching. See you guys later.